right, so we are here at the Mercedes-Benz dealership. I didn't think I'd be back here again buying another vehicle, but well, I'm starting another home service company. So we got right here, 2020 first Sprinter van, launching a company in the midst of a recession. So here we go. <laughs> I haven't seen the inside yet, but it looks good. Oh, Ooh, baby. <laughs> Fancy that. Look at that. Holy. We got Sherwin Williams red paint. <laughs> My new supplier for paint. Um, yeah, this looks great. Can you stand up in it? You can't stand up in this one. Okay, can, you can. But not tall not people. Like my other van. <laughs> Looks pretty sharp. Cool. It's literally going to work today. So now I gotta build the team. This is van one. Version one, van one. We'll see if this uh, this layout will be suitable as I as we grow the company. It's gonna remain this way, but this was my first iteration of what I thought would work for a painting company. Keep in mind, I haven't painted a house in like seven years or something like that, so I've got to remember all my systems and all that stuff. Um, but I feel I feel like I can figure it out. Forget it. <laughs> I'll remember it all how how it goes. Nice. Um, yeah. So. I thought it would actually be fun to like start filming and like re just kind of walking people through because I know it, what it's, it's difficult to start companies and you go through all these emotional hurdles like I literally rolled up today I'm like oh my god am I doing this I have to do it now because I because I invested right and that's one of the things I've always felt is like when you're doing something you just invest fully first and then you deal with all the emotional crap later um, like when I started rock climbing I went and I bought like three thousand dollars worth of gear before I even started climbing, and then I had to climb. And now I'm a climber, and it's awesome. I love it, right? But I find that that's how I tend to do things: is just like make the investment first, and then deal with all your uh, your whole roller coaster in business. We call it the what do we call it again? The uh, the transition curve, where you you go through all the emotions, but the biggest key is to just keep on moving forward. Um, but anyway, we're going to move this fan over to the other side and I'm going to stock it up and uh, yeah, I'll keep recording back with uh, more fun stuff. But this is, uh, this is the new Colorcraft vehicle. Um, so I'll paint the picture for you. We're going to, uh, right now she's bare and clean, but we're going to, uh, we're going to wrap it. We're going to get, I'm, I'm, ha I'm having a photo shoot next week. Um, once I get my uniforms, which I don't have those yet because coronavirus uh, has delayed all that stuff. But we're gonna get, I'm thinking, I don't know what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking like uh, uniform staff on the vans, the logo right here in big, bold. Um, color craft, like I don't even know what I'm thinking. I have to design the van though, but that's one of the next steps. Once I have professional photos, we can do like a full van, uh, van wrap with the branding and everything. That's what made, uh, when we did Shack Shine, that's what made that, it was a huge statement to, I guess, the company. Um, we In our first two years, I remember 27% of our sales came from just people seeing the van wraps. So they do work, they are worth investing in. Um, and I will do it again. <laughs> yeah. As so you are. Have fun out there. Um, it's Corona season, so. You know, you got, you got to work extra hard and you have to take extra risk, but it does pay off and and it kind of fun. So go have fun and build build what you want to build in your life.